How can an off-white paint color be controversial? Today we're talking about a Benjamin Moore paint color called Sea Pearl, color code OC19. We got the code, now let's get to cracking. Color Code is a series all about paint colors. We talk about them, we break them down, and in true paint people fashion, I'm gonna give you some color options that go well with Sea Pearl, more specifically a light, a medium, and a dark color, as well as a trim color. So you'll have plenty of options to equip yourself in the color selection process. That sounds good. Let's hit the like button for good karma and get to it. Sea Pearl by Benjamin Moore is a very light neutral color in the Benjamin Moore collection of paint colors. It also goes by the color code 961, but we'll refer to it as the more recent OC19 in this video, which means it's part of the Benjamin Moore Off-White Collection, in case you didn't know what the OC stands for. Take that, Orange County. So we decided to discuss Sea Pearl because for an off-white color, it is not without its controversy online. How can an off-white paint color be controversial? Well, I'll get to that a bit later on. Let's talk about what's going on with Sea Pearl. It has an LRV just under 78, and that's the light reflectance value, which lets you know how light or dark a color is. Basically, the closer the color is to 100, the more light it reflects, making it lighter and brighter altogether. That's a pretty high LRV, all things considered, although it is a couple points below my 80 point threshold of a true off-white paint color. Anything that's 80 or above, I start to consider it as a white paint color alternative because you're starting to get into those more subtle undertones that may just come across as a plain white to certain people. Sea Pearl carries enough depth where if you tossed it onto the wall, it's gonna appear as a light color rather than a white. That being said, if you tossed it on the exterior of a house, it may come across as a soft white because of how bright the sun is. I don't care how fancy your interior lighting is, as a light source, it ain't got nothing on the literal sun. Sea Pearl is a warmer, ultralight gray that does come with a subtle yellow undertone, and what makes it subtle is the added gray within it. Depending on your lighting, the gray might show flashes of a very pale green, but the color itself is not green. Just think of it as a super light, desaturated grayish. Now, what are some colors that would work alongside Sea Pearl? Well, for all my subscribers that are familiar with the color code structure, you know I like to give you options. I always hit you folks with a light, a medium, and a dark color, as well as a trim color option. Now, because Sea Pearl is so light, the light color that I selected alongside it isn't necessarily a color pairing per se, but it can be a lighter alternative. We're talking about Swiss coffee with an LRV of 84. It doesn't have a massive difference when compared to Sea Pearl, but it's noticeably brighter and can be used in place of Sea Pearl when you have insufficient lighting, for example, and you need that little boost in lightness. Where I could see them working in tandem is on different substrates. And by that I mean you're gonna have one that's perhaps in a matte finish on the walls and then the other as a satin finish on your cabinets. Even though their LRV is a little bit close, the difference in texture and finish will have enough of a difference to allow them to kind of pop off one another. Interesting choice here. Depending on how you look at it, it could still be a color pairing in certain situations, albeit a very subtle one. For my mid-tone color selection, I opted for something relatively neutral. And instead of Sea Pearl's implied green, gray, Mirage has a lot more of that green within it. And it's muted and toned with some taupe, creating an understated green that becomes an extremely versatile mid-tone color. It has an LRV of 54.9, giving it a good amount of depth without feeling too dark in most situations. It's also a great pairing with Sea Pearl because the bit of green visible in Green Mirage will soften the potential for green to show up in Sea Pearl. It'll just make it feel much softer, clean, and settled. What about my bold color fans out there? I know you're waiting for me to stir the pot a bit, and that's what I'm going to do with the third color pairing, which is the darker color here. It only has a 25 LRV, which all things considered, isn't incredibly dark, but it's extremely saturated with a golden maple brown color and a delicious name. I'm talking about Ginger Snaps. And this is a deep mid-tone brown with an oxide yellow sort of Dijon mustard feeling that will create a vibrant punch of color. What's great about it is even though it's loaded with colorant, it's still warm leaning, which means it'll help keep things feeling nice and cozy. 
And looking at her other color pairings, Ginger Snaps is gonna bring in so much color in comparison. So it's going to work with those other colors, but also settle them down a little bit so Ginger Snaps can stand out as the accent. Another fun way to incorporate a Ginger Snaps like color is in your furniture. No, I'm not expecting you to go and buy a nice brown leather couch just to incorporate this color, but if you have these types of colors already in your home, then they'll incorporate nicely with the other colors we talked about. Now let's get to the trim color. Sea Pearl is lighter, which means it's a good idea to at least consider picking a trim color that has some level of contrast. And the way that I try and do this is to have at least a 10 LRV difference between your wall color and your trim color. If you wanna go with a darker trim, that gives you a lot of options. But in regards to an off-white trim color for that crisp white look, I would be looking at colors like ultra white and up. Actually, I think ultra white's a little too gray, but uh, super white is a pretty safe choice because it's nice and clean and bright and an almost sparkling white as Benjamin likes to call it. But personally, my pick would be cotton balls. Anytime I can find an excuse to use that color, I do. It's definitely warmer leaning, but I really like its creaminess alongside these lighter warm neutral colors. It even has a decent enough of a difference to work alongside the light color pairing we talked about earlier in Swiss coffee. Pretty much all the colors we discussed today are warmer leaning. There's definitely a warm theme happening here, but I stand by it. Now, before we end off here, I did mention a bit of an elephant in the room when it comes to sea pearl. There's a lot of talk online about sea pearl being a bit of a pointless color. I was kind of shocked to hear it at first, but when I read a little more into it, I started to understand why people were a little frustrated. Its color code is OC19, as we know, and it has a very close neighbor with the code OC18 in Dove Wing. Dove Wing is a color that we've spoken about on this channel quite a bit. I've used it in my bathroom. It's an excellent color. But what people are complaining about is the similarities between these two colors. What's the point of their existence when they're quite literally a one LRV difference between the two? I honestly hear your words, people. To be fair, they are quite close as colors. But personally, I would rather have a few more options than a few less. If you like Dove Wing and you want just a tad more visual depth, then Sea Pearl presents itself as a great option. Or on the flip side, if you're like me and you love Sea Pearl, but you're painting a bathroom with zero windows, then maybe Dove Wing is the answer with that added brightness. The two require a lot of hyper optimization in regards to picking one over the other, but I'm glad they both exist because they're both great. And if you wanna know more about Dove Wing, I'll leave it for you coming right up.